welcome back to the channel this is another gorgeous summer day so of course we're out on the grilling deck and i'm bringing you a new sandwich recipe out here today my name is mark ashby i am the one the only self-proclaimed grillionaire and a lot of times when we do recipes we get a lot of inspiration from people today i'm taking inspiration from chef michael simon on the food network we're starting a new series this month and we are calling it cooking the books we are taking recipes from different chefs and different cookbooks and we are going to turn them into a barbecue classic let's get started Our first step for this is we have to get a mixing bowl and we've got to mix together some scallions, some pepper, some parsley, and of course the sausage and cheese. Take your breakfast sausage, about one pound of it. This is 14 ounces, so it's just slightly under a pound. And we're gonna put it in this bowl and we're gonna chop up some of that parsley, those scallions and that pepper, and of course the cheese and mix that all together. Then we're gonna cut open that bread. Next, we're gonna take our fresh parsley and we're just gonna chop it all the way down, stems and all. Next, we're gonna take three to four scallions. I've got three here and we're just gonna stack them and cut. If you see this recipe, you're gonna notice that there is no salt in this recipe. That is because the breakfast sausage comes with a lot of salt in it. So all we're gonna do is take some pepper and you can go for as little or as much as you like. I typically like a little pepper heavy, so I'm gonna go a little pepper heavy. Take some shredded cheese, you can shred it yourself or you can buy the pre-shredded like I did here and you're doing about a cup. We don't do exact measurements here on the channel sometimes, but that's pretty good. It's okay to add a little bit of extra cheese if you want to, or take a little out. Typically, when you're following a recipe, especially from someone as amazing as Chef Simon, you wanna make sure that you're doing everything that he says, but I like to kick up the heat just a little bit. I didn't buy hot sausage, I didn't have it at the store, so I'm gonna use some of the Cosmo Q garlic jalapeno that I got here in the shaker, and I'm gonna give that just a little bit to add a small amount of bite on that sandwich. We've got everything in the bowl. Now the best part about barbecue is we are getting messy here. So just take it in your hands and mix everything together. Make sure it all incorporates. We want all that flavor on this sandwich. Chef Simon's recipe said that you needed some hoagie rolls. Again, the store didn't have any. So I got this fresh baked ciabatta bread and you're going to take a bread knife Cut that all the way through. And then we're going to take the inside of the sandwich out because that's where we're gonna put that sausage filling. Now that we've got the bread boats going, you're gonna take half your mixture, just cut it down the middle and spread it inside. It's got some great aromatics going with those green onions, cheese in there. And then we're gonna brush some avocado oil on there. You can also use duck fat spray if you have it or extra virgin olive oil, whatever you want. We're gonna take the sandwich, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna sear it on the loco griddle right here at a high temperature for just about a minute and a half. The reason we're using avocado oil is because it has a high smoke point. The duck fat spray also has a high smoke point, but it just has a different flavor. Choose any oil that you like. Now we're gonna take our brush and you're gonna brush the edges of the bread because that's the part we want to crisp up when we have it on the grill. I've got only one burger on on the far right and I've got it at 400 degrees and it should be just enough to get these two sandwiches on there and to sear them. Up. 
We're letting these sear. I'm putting a little pressure on it here. We're letting these sear for about a minute and a half, so about 90 seconds. Then we're gonna flip it over to our silver back here and we're gonna let that bake until the sausage is done at a 175 internal temp. And the only way you should be checking your meat temperature is with the Typher Insta Probe. This thing is the fastest probe on the market. It is the most accurate. It's an IP69. When it comes to waterproof, it is the best thing you can get on the market. Link in my bio. 90 seconds in, let's flip it over and see how we did. Perfect cross formed. And this is gonna set the tone when we're gonna move it onto the silver bag. Now all the drippings from the sausage are gonna drip into the bottom of that. So we got we do have to keep an eye on it, make sure that it doesn't overflow, get into the burn pot or anything like that. But this should just toast nicely. If it does start to overflow, get a little soggy, we're gonna wrap it in some foil just to catch that. We're gonna let that sit for 20 minutes. I'm gonna check on it in 10 been about 25 minutes so we're gonna check on the sandwich and we have this nice open face sandwich so we're gonna go with our Typher Insta Probe we're reading right at 175 which means that these sandwiches are done we're gonna take them off put them on the chopping block here let them rest for about five minutes and then we're gonna dive in I never understood why sandwiches were open faced, but we can clearly see here, we have a gorgeous sausage sandwich inspired by Chef Michael Simon. We're gonna cut into it here. Did you hear that crunch? There's the cross section there. Perfect color, melted cheese, lots of flavor. You know this is gonna be good. There we go. Mmm, mm. <laughs> really crunchy with the ciabatta bread. Incredible flavor. We get the savoriness of the pork. We have that nice bright color of the green onion. A little bit of bite from the garlic jalapeno. And the cheese is a perfect addition to everything else. This, oh damn, I just got smacked by a raindrop. Whether you make this at the beach or in your own backyard, this sandwich is gonna be a hit for brunch. It is amazing. And of course, it'll turn out perfect just like me. Until next time, make sure you keep those grills fired up so the flavor doesn't go down. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Also, we do weekly recipes. Make sure you subscribe down below, hit the bell for notifications, go to my, my website, grillmarkco.com, go to the menu board blog, you'll find this recipe and many other articles on there. See you then.